Saint Gemma's prayers and sufferings were very powerful and her purity so great that Satan became furious and tried to stop her praying and suffering, especially for the conversion of sinners or tempt her to sin. The devil appeared to Saint Gemma in various frightening forms, sometimes as an animal that jumped on her bed that even her spiritual director saw. The enemy tried desperately to stop her praying and when she continued to do so, he would often grab her hair and drag her across the room, sometimes throwing her into furniture. On one occasion, the devil appeared as an angel of light and said he would make Gemma happy if she promised to obey him. She would answer him back, spit at him and laugh at him until her spiritual director told her not to. Satan would often leave her covered in bruises. Once, as Saint Gemma drew some water to fill the jugs in the rooms, she passed an image of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Her heart gave three or four violent jumps of love and she said to Jesus, O oh my Jesus, hasten to grant me the grace to be united forever with thee. Make me so much thine that we too can never be separated one from the other. The devil was furious and gave her a heavy blow on her shoulder. When Saint Gemma was told by her spiritual director to write her autobiography, the devil was so furious that he stole it. When Saint Gemma's confessor commanded that it be returned, it reappeared with scorch marks as though it had been in the fires of hell. This can still be seen today. All through the devil's attacks, Saint Gemma's guardian angel comforted Saint Gemma standing by her bed watching over her, especially after she had been beaten cruelly by the devil during her evening prayer. <laughs>